Hello and welcome to my channel. Today we've got this 9 ampere Milwaukee high output battery um, but it's only showing 4.4, 4.5 volts which is way way too low for an 18 volt battery which should be showing between 17 and 20. I've already taken the screws out so we're going to get into it and have a little look at the cells to show you what's actually going on with this. Right, just checking the individual banks of cells, that's 0.92 and that's 0.7, that's 0.94, that's 0.93, that's 0.93. All well, well below what you would consider viable voltage. These should be probably 3 volts would be very low. 2 volts would be a disaster. Less than a volt is really, most people will tell you that's for the recycling bin. But not me. I have other ideas for this. What I'm going to do to get this to go again is connect it to this high output 12 ampere. Um, we'll monitor the voltage as we go and make sure we're getting up there voltage wise. And when it gets, starts to get to the right voltage, we'll pull it off so we don't overcook it. So here goes nothing. That's plus, plus, minus, minus, right. Here goes could be sparks there might not be there were you see where it jumped right away to 17 point whatever that's kind of what we want I'm going to take the other battery off it and see what it does it will drop a little bit we'll give it another little zap I'm going to put it right onto the charger now just to see it is dropping in the voltage. That mightn't be a problem. Get on to the charger, see if she takes a charge. No, she's showing a fault. So that didn't work. We'll give it another blast to see if we can bring it up even further. To see if that helps. Just keep it on for a while. Really get the power into those cells. I've been very safe monitoring this uh, operation as a go. Word loves this because I can feel one, feel one of my thumbs getting very warm. And that's, that's kind of normal. Right, we've got her up to 17 now. Let's see if we can get her right on the charge before she changes her mind. No, nope. there's some other fault. If we check the cells, we're up above 3.26 and they're all very balanced, so it's not cell imbalances this issue. I'm going to try another technique and I'm going to show it to you. This technique is called circuit board reset. That's what I call it anyway. You go to the negative terminal and the one beside it and you connect them together with something. Like that bit of wire. For a few seconds. And once you do that, you pull that off. You put it on a tool. You pull the trigger. Right, you remove the tool and you slap it on the charger and hopefully it charges now. Nope, doesn't work. Option three, circuit board replacement. We've got to get the old one off first, that's, that's key. Just pop up these spot welds in the plus and minus ends. And we've got to desolder these four points.
does help if you remove these two screws as well. One off on it. That was nice. There we are. It's all board off now. So when they get the new one on. I took a bit of maneuvering, but they're all in place now. And what I do now sometimes is put in the screws.
Right, we'll try the charger now to see if it's any better. Showing a charging light. So we'll leave that for a little while to see if that solved the problem. It seems like we're going to have a result because there's two bars there already. So we'll keep her going. We're having a good result here. This is fairly charging. It's charging away. But I never tried it in the tool yet, they say. Definitely. I would say I'm going to charge away at this, but I'm pretty sure, pretty confident I've got that fixed. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and check out my channel for all my other videos.